Some twisted knot of fate has always tied us together. Millennia ago, my body was burned. The same oppressors who restrain your magic today once took flame to mine. It might surprise you now, but there was once a time when these trees passed over this earth like the shadow of clouds. Deep within our wood grain, we carried a force so wonderful it would stand your hairs on end. With it we bred further magic. Creatures fed from our fruit and grew wings. Entirely new species of herbs sheltered beneath our canopies. As our forests migrated, magic traveled in our wake, spreading like seeds. We were the building blocks of mythology. But unfortunately, your people discovered we were also the building blocks of human civilization. As we were felled, so too was our magic. Fairy tales starved with each passing winter as more and more logs were placed into the great burning hearths. Eventually, all magic died. Except for you. Out of the detritus, our prophecy germinated. We left behind a single root, in whose stew rested the fate of our world. The humans outlaw its consumption. They call it necromancy. We called it hope. Finally, now, your footsteps bound atop my grave. I know you're there because I taste you in the rainwater. Your energy seeps into the soil with every restored life, and somehow, some way, it has already restored mine. Deep beneath the ground, my ancient roots drink it in like an elixir. They stretch toward your unseen magic above the topsoil. Untold years have left me buried deep in the darkness. I am not yet whole, but I am growing. Soon enough, the others will too. Years pass. With every new summer sun, you tend to your magic, spreading green within and out. And with every spring rain, the water erodes away all that is left to separate us. Words cannot describe the feeling when my fingers finally break ground. I unearth in the middle of a pathway, surrounded by deciduous thicket. I immediately recognize the schools of old, elm, oak, honeysuckle, my ancient colleagues with whom I bloomed beauty. Now these trees merely crack in the wind, sapped of their souls. For many seasons, I despair from my vantage down in the pathway, but I have one fact that saves me. Soon enough, I think, you will come soon enough. And soon enough, you do. You bound through the woods, laughter echoing among the imposter trees. A boy is with you, handsome, young. He chases your dirty dress as it billows its way towards a creek bed, towards my outstretched arm. I trip you. Your face hits the moss with a soft oomph. Behind you, the boy is panting, smile stretched across his face. He has the features of a prince, and I can tell by the way you look at him, you think also the heart of a lion. You're old enough to blush as he reaches for your hand, but you're also astute enough to recognize something amiss. You kick at me. You frown at the hollow thud. The boy's looking at you, confusion writ plainly across his face. With the fate of the world in your hands, you brush your knees and smile. Watch, you whisper. There's a moment of green electricity that is felt but not seen. Avi, the boy says. You're not supposed to. Your fingertips touch mine. My roots extend and pop. I dig in my toes and tap into the world's pulse. I rise in full glory, smiling down at you. Oh, you squeak. The two of you are so small. I have waited a long time for you, I say. Already the earthly magic courses through my wood grain. Your friend bolts, stumbling down the road. Father! Father! the boy screams. My sense of betrayal does not hold a candle to yours. I know soon enough torches will bloom on the horizon for me, but the boy has set your heart aflame. With a flick of my head, I shower you with twirly copters. All as they pirouette around you, they transform into fairies. For many years down below, I drank off your laughter. It was truly a pleasure to finally hear it firsthand. What are you? you ask. My bark shimmers as I reply, I am what came before. 
I tell you everything. How? Together you are much more than a necromancer. How? Together we can restore the age of fable. It's so much to take in, but a part of you believes. It's been sprouting inside you ever since you can remember. Your eyes, I say, the exact shade of chestnut. Behind you the boy screams grow fainter and fainter down the pathway. I extend a branch. You hesitate. Come with me, I urge. Let's fix this world. Trembling, you grab hold.